welcome back to Estate Sale Finds of the Week, episode number four. This is awesome. This is my big 4th of July extravaganza, so stick around to the end so I can reveal my 4th of July item of the week. Here we have a hat. Now this hat was in the free bin at the end of a garage sale, and that's right. Caught my eye immediately. Michael Jordan Golf Center. Says it's a Nike golf hat. Um, has the Nike. So, do a little research on it, make sure it's not. It is a Velcro back. Um, but, uh, seems like this could be interesting. Give that a shot there. Nice hat. Next, I don't usually dabble in this kind of stuff, but, um, I sprung on because they're really cheap. They're 50 cents each. So they are Boy Scouts of America. Um, this is from 86. It's a, uh, it's probably a, a coffee mug that you, they give to the um, people who help out. The, um, and this was from the uh, 1989 National Scout Jamboree. I grabbed this because I have an actual Screen Stars t-shirt uh, with the same thing. And I'm probably going to lock those together. Uh, maybe make that a little more enticing to somebody who uh, collects um, Boy Scouts of America stuff. So, because that 89 one was uh, pretty big. It was that, the National Jamboree is different than the, I guess, than the normal. But anyways, um, so I'll take a shot on those. You can see those lotted up. Sometimes they go for like 25 bucks. Um, but, uh, yeah, when I got home, it was uh, not what I quite what I thought. Next... Oh yeah, a little cassette recorder. This is not a super duper one, it's just a Sanyo. And it is, let's see if we can zoom in on that. Where is that model number? Oh, I thought it was, well anyways, there's the model number. And as you can see, it's, it's not, it's beat up. It has some surface wear and I haven't tested it yet. A lot of times, um, Oh, there's the batteries. Yeah, the battery pack was clean. Oh, I don't know if it's cleaner. There's actually a battery down there I didn't notice at the garage sale. Well, keep my fingers crossed. Looks like it has exploded. So, all right. Okay. <laughs> I'll uh, keep my fingers crossed on that. But um, I usually grab these kind of old things, especially um, if you don't know the Walkmans. Those are the ones you want to get. So, uh, the Sanyo, though, I'll, I'll take a pop on it. This... This is my oops of the week. So it had this giant sticker here that said uh, 250 on it. And so I got this for two bucks. I still have my old Super Nintendo, so cool. But uh, when I went to get the sticker off, it would not release. So it damaged the, um, it damaged it and uh, super unhappy. It's one of those things, like when you're there, you always remember after the fact, like, oh, is there a sticker on, you know, something important? Or do they have, um, well, those price tag things sticking through um, somewhere important on the shirt, you know, things like that. Like, it's just those little things that where they damage the actual product that in this world is distinct because you get it home and then you have a damaged product. So, um, anyways, I'm a big stinker of the week. Now, this is a game that I always keep my eyes open for. Well, this is just a little, as you can see, five to six player expansion. But this Catan, and I think it was called, the game was called Settlers of Catan was the initial game. That's an awesome game. It's it's a big seller. I mean, if you take a look at the Amazon seller hub, uh, you can see its sales rank. It's always super high in games and toys. But uh, if you see that, just grab it. It's one of those games that um, kind of instant profit for you. Um, that I saw that the other help gurus are, are uh, pawning. I, I saw the, uh, the, the recent explosion from one of those guys. Um, it's like... 11 of the top selling this, 11, he was doing board games, so um, that should have been in there, which it wasn't, because I don't know how much he sells. But anyways, moving on, next, oh, wrestling magazine, you smell what the rock's cooking? That's right, I grabbed it, oh, there's Goldberg, and there he is, the man, the myth, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and this guy right there, oh, man, Triple H, awesome, so yeah, um, this isn't going to go for much, but um, if you can get the uh, old, like, 80s wrestling stuff, 
it's awesome. Like the take a look at the prices. It's it's amazing what you can get. Oh, there's the old cane. So they uh they switched him up. I know that. Like uh he's a different guy now. So, oh man, look at that. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty super awesome Goldberg. Yes. Who are these guys? Oh, the Dudleys. <laughs> Sweet. So, this is fun. We'll see ya. Oh, this guy right here. Not that anyone really cares. That dude's The Rock's cousin, from what I understand. So, that's what I remember back, you know, in uh, the 90s there when uh, everyone was watching wrestling. So, moving on. This is, moving on. Next is my kids. Find. So, kids love Pokemon. Pokemon memory game. It was awesome when I opened it up. And this is great because the pieces are here. We've played this about three zillion times now. So it's really cool. Um, just playing memory with all this stuff because they know these guys. Not that da their dad does. But uh, really cool. Just totally enjoyed the uh, artwork. So this was a big old buckaroonie. And uh, I couldn't believe it. These are selling for 20 bucks. So um, maybe it's something to do with that, that really cool design work they did there. So props off to the Pokemon people. And next... Next, I'm going to show you my kicks that I scored this week. Oh, yeah. Got some 6.0s. Um, pretty beat. Really beat. A little bit of a Detroit lean there. Um, yeah, a serviceable pair. We'll see how they clean up. That's the, that'll be the tail of tape. Over two bucks. Uh, I wasn't complaining. So, and here we go. We'll talk about that tag. So, there's that tag uh, I talked about in the other videos. Bam. So, if you're on the road and you want to look that up, so that would be Nike 407. What is that? 360. Whoops. Dash 500. There we go. That's it. Ten and a half. So, pretty sweet. Uh, I did get both. I didn't get the... Um, <laughs> you get the one-legged man version, so uh, to get both. And like I said, I'll pop on sneakers. Like, you know, what a if I can get twenty bucks out of that and make ten times back of my money. Oh man, I'm I'm just uh, stoked about that. So, uh, and next, thank you for holding on. And here's my, as promised, Fourth of July. Oh, you hold on, I'm lying. I'm gonna do one more. So the next item I have, I'm just gonna show it to you. I believe this is butterscotch amber. That's what I believe. So the tests I've done is I put it in a bowl of water with salt, a bunch of salt, and it floated. And then I also ran it under the warm water tap and I could smell um, like a nice aromatic type of, a nice aromatic smell. Now those led me to believe this was and it weighs out to about 58 grams of of amber um i need to take this in somewhere though to get it authenticated i had it up and i got an offer on it and i declined and took it down because i'm just scared to death that i'm gonna sell this and they're gonna get it and say oh yeah thanks for the giant piece of resin um that's my fear i don't know if i'm just being hypersensitive uh, but it, it, this has enough things that I don't, I'm not familiar with. Um, I think what it was though, it looks to me like they tried to make it a pendant, if you could see that. They drilled through there, and I think they drilled through here, that chip, chipped off. But I thought it was like maybe you're trying to make like a pendant, like you'd hang around your neck. Um, found this at a little old lady's house in the bottom of a box. Um, it was like it's the last day, so they were just boxing stuff up. And uh, it was on a Sunday, so it was half off. So this was a dollar. So, um, yeah, I thought I thought I hit the Holy Grail because I, I always listen to the Scavenger Life with uh, Ryan and Jay. And, uh, you know, she sells butterscotch regularly, butterscotch amber. And uh, so when I had this, I was just like, I thought it was like the best day ever. But um, after further research, I'm just so unsure. But um, so I need to bring this in. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring this into a jeweler and see what they can tell me. 
But uh, if it is, that is like the score of the century. Because um, talk about the adrenaline and the endorphins popping. That was just the best day ever. All right. So as promised, without further ado, here is my 4th of July awesome find that I got this weekend at one of those repeat offender estate sales. So this was like the the family goes out and they buy crap and I, I think they have a booth at an antique mall. And the reason why I thought they have an antique mall is this was on the back. Alright, so I think the stuff that doesn't sell at their mall they bring to and they have a quote unquote estate sale. Um, so this was on a Sunday and uh, I talked them down to five bucks. So there are 12 patches here. Uh, it's like new old stock, so I th probably from probably from you know the 80s sometime, maybe the early 90s. But anyways, uh, regardless, it, there are 12 patches. Um, I kind of follow the same model that Terminal 99 does for patches, so you can take a look there. Um, you know, like eight bucks and free shipping. So if you just do the quick math right there, if I got eight bucks on each, I would turn this into ninety six dollars, and then you have to back out the shipping. So still uh, turning that five dollars probably into fifty. So how could I resist? And since it is Fourth of July, hopefully I can get this up there, and somebody who's been really patriotic takes a pop on this. So well, we shall see. So. But I thought it was cool, and I will pop on patches if I see them for under a dollar. So, so this was absolutely in my ballpark, and uh, they're in the pack. They're in the packs, which is even better. So, that is my Fourth of July awesome find of the week. And um, thanks for stopping by. And if you liked any of the information, please hit that like button. Otherwise, keep up finding those treasures, and I'll see you next time.